Hi guys, welcome back to Frog and Toad Online. I'm going to be talking about an activity that you can do, a DIY activity that you can do right at home. A game I played growing up that I absolutely loved was called Kerplunk. I don't know if you guys ever heard of it, but it looks like this. Um, I loved the game. It was just something that I found fun to play with my brother and my mom and just something that really brought us together when I was growing up. So I decided to take a two liter soda bottle. I cut a rim around where the cap usually, is, the bottle cap usually is so that the ping pong ball can easily go right inside. And then I took a drill bit and poked a bunch of holes into the bottle and um, that way I was able to easily um, take pipe the pipe cleaners and put them into the holes without uh, any complications. And this activity is great for uh, hand muscles and uh, fine motor skills, practicing, uh, being able to grip objects and pulling them. Learning about gravity and how things can fall and it's just a fun game as well. You can turn it into a game where um, you, you and the kids pull on the string, pull each one out and whoever drops the ball uh, loses. Um, but it's again, it doesn't have to be a win and a lose game. It can just be uh, fun. And the sign of today is ball. You can ask them where, that is the sign for where, where is the ball? Where's the ball? Can you, can you help me find, find, can you help me find the ball? Let me know how that goes for you guys at home. Today I'm going to be reading Just Like Me by Adam Ralph. Oh look, it's an armadillo! Early one morning, our little armadillo left his den and went down to the river. He was bored with hanging out at home, and his parents were tired of him sulking. So Arlo's parents told, sent him out into the woods to find someone to play with. As he sat down by the river, he heard his mother's words in his head. Go play with your cousins, Arlo. Arlo walked along the river until he saw three bunny scaly heads just peeping out of the water. They looked just like Arlo's head. Aha! He shouted. Three of my armadillo cousins! Come out and play with me! Uh-oh. Those don't look like armadillos. But arm... But to Arlo's surprise, three young alligators grinned back at him. Ooh, you're not armadillos, said Arlo. But maybe we can be friends. The alligators gnashed their teeth and flicked their tails. You're too rough for me, said Arlo. Oh, please stay, said the alligators. We'll have lunch together. But Arlo was already on his way. He walked until he saw two pointy ears nearly hide hidden behind a pile of earth. They look just like Arlo's ears. This must be my cousin digging a hole, he thought. I'm coming in, he called and looked, took a running jump. But all he found was a small brown rabbit. You're not an armadillo, he said. No, I'm not, said the rabbit. But come and help me dig this hole. Arlo joined in digging. But the rabbit dug too fast and covered him in dirt. Oh no, he's covered in dirt. Muddy, hot, and grumpy, Arlo scrambled out of the hole and walked away. As he climbed up a hill, Arlo saw an animal with a big, knobbly shell on its back. It looked just like Arlo's shell. I hope it's an armadillo, he thought, and started run to run after him. Hello, he shouted. But it was a tortoise, not one of Arlo's cousins. The tortoise was scared by Arlo shouting, so he disappeared inside his shell and refused to come out. I'm not an armadillo, the tortoise exclaimed, and you're too noisy. Please leave me alone. Oops, thought Arlo. Arlo was all alone again. I found animals with scaly heads, pointy ears, and knobbly shells, but they weren't at all like me and they weren't nice to me either. Then he saw a long bony tail. 
It's an armadillo for sure, Arlo cried out. I've got you now, Arlo pulled and pulled, and the tail got longer and longer. He must have found his biggest cousin. Uh Uh-oh. Suddenly, there was a hiss and a terrible rattle. Stop pulling on my tail, said a rattlesnake. Arlo immediately fell back in surprise. I thought you were in an armadillo. He's like, well, you made a big mistake, hissed the snake. Now Arlo felt very scared. I really wish there was someone around to help me, he whimpered. But then something strange happened. The rock started to shake with laughter. (laughs) The rattlesnake was so surprised that he slithered off. One by one, the rocks unrolled themselves. And as Arlo's watched, each rock became an armadillo. His cousin had been hiding from him all along. You're armadillos from head to toe, he laughed. Of course, his cousins answered. Come and play with us. So Arlo twitched his pointy ears, dusted off his knobbly shell, and waved his long bony tail in the air. He'd never had so much fun, and they all played and played until their parents called them home. Can you find all the armadillos hidden in the book? Let's go back and find them. Where, oh, where could his cousin be? Is he over there? No. Oh, what's this? I think that's one of them. Hmm. It's not the alligators. Oh, wait. What's this behind the tree? There's his other cousin. I don't see any here. Hmm. I think I see one. Well, there's the bunny rabbit ears. Hmm. But there's another set of pointy ears. I think that's his other cousin. Oh, look. Right there. There, One of his cousins was right there the whole time. Hmm. Huh. I don't see any. Oh, there he is. I don't see any here. Oh, is that? Is that the turtle's tail? No, he's hidden his shell. That must be one of his other cousins. Oh, there's his other cousin right there. He was right behind him. And that's where he found them. The end. I am so glad Arlo the armadillo found all of his cousins. That was a scary adventure. Thanks for helping me find them. I will see you guys on the next one.